With the Jedi Purge unfolding as it did, it left the Jedi Order in shambles. The Jedi were no more, and in the middle of all of this was the newly christened Darth Vader. Together with Palpatine, they were determined to cleanse the galaxy of the Jedi once and for all. And in order to do that, they created the Inquisitorious, a band of dark side adepts who would aid Darth Vader in the hunt for the Jedi survivors. Turmoil had engulfed the galaxy during these past few years after Order 66, but in this far away distant planet, it was a beautiful, lovely day. For this husband and wife, a baby was born. In fact, it was their first, and the baby was a girl. Overjoyed and happy, the father wanted to hold his child. Sharing in this delight was the wife as well. In what seemed to be a miraculous day for both, turned into a nightmare as a shadowy figure approached the maternity ward. It was the ultimate Jedi hunter, Darth Vader, and we quickly understand that the father is a Jedi survivor, the Jedi Master and former council member, Eeth Koth. The eyes of Master Eeth widened with panic. Not now, he yelled out. Knowing fully well why Vader was here, he started to plead with him, assuring him that he is not a threat to any Anyone, and especially the Empire. He is just a priest now, serving in the Church of Ganthic Enlightenment. All he does is bring people together with weddings and serve at funerals. Years ago, they had kicked him off the council, and he had no loyalty to the Jedi. Eeth Koth, however, was sensing danger. He gave a signal to his wife, in which Myra immediately ordered the droid to hand her over the baby. More and more, we can hear Eeth Koth pleading with Vader trying to bargain with the Sith Lord that he could help him find other Jedi survivors. If he lets them live, with one word, Vader encompassed what was about to happen next. Funerals. Left with no other choice, Eeth Koth rammed the droid onto Vader, yelled at Myra to run with her baby, reached out with the force, and grabbed his lightsaber. A scared mother was now running away from this dark, shadowy figure. What came next was a classic battle between an old Jedi Master and a young Sith, both lashing out at each other. In fact, Vader even recognized the fear and anger, even resentment, that Eeth Koth harbored inside of him. It was something that Vader wasn't accustomed to, sensing this in a Jedi. But Eeth Koth was a Zabrak after all, and he even admitted that it might be the Zabrak in him that is lashing out. In trying his best, the Jedi Master was out of shape. Vader simply pushed him with the Force, and now elite members of the Inquisitorious were after the child. They had gone after the girl with orders directly from Vader. And while while Myra tried her best to escape the Inquisitors, in the end it was to no avail. The child crying and screaming for her mother and the female Inquisitor simply reached with the force and grabbed the baby. It didn't matter that both the child and the mother were now heartbroken and separated. Already beaten, the Jedi Master still held hope for his family, convincing himself that he will save them. But as the screams of the child approached, Approached, the sound was unbearable. Eeth Koth turned his head to see his daughter in the possession of the Inquisitors, in the possession of the Empire. Distracted and defeated, Eeth Koth was finally killed, impaled by the red blade of Darth Vader. And while the child screamed in agony for being separated from its mother, Vader went as far as to order the child to be quiet. And at that moment, in sheer awe, the baby stopped. The baby stopped crying and looked at Vader with fear. The child was eventually transported to Coruscant, and what is sad about all of this is that we never found out what was the fate of this child, and who knows, perhaps a lot more that we didn't see. But you can imagine what Palpatine and the Empire wanted from these Force-sensitive children, the daughter of a Jedi Master. Of course, I would love to know your thoughts as well about this, about Vader crashing this maternity ward and ultimately separating a family. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you have an awesome day Star Wars fans, I'll see you in the next video and may the force be with you until then.